In our segment on the cosmos in the How Far Away Is It video book, we covered how, on the widest scale, the universe forms a web of galaxies surrounding great voids, and that the web filaments are galaxies grouped into superclusters. It has always been difficult for astronomers to determine where one supercluster ends and another begins. But now a team of astronomers have collected data on thousands of galaxies around us to understand their peculiar motion. You'll recall from our segment on local superclusters that the peculiar motion of an object is its motion less that part of its motion associated with the Hubble flow due to the expanding universe. They use this data to identify which galaxies are moving towards us, shown in blue, and which galaxies are moving away from us, shown in red. With this data, they were able to create a map of the paths galaxies are migrating along. These paths are called cosmic flows. Using this motion, they came up with a new way to map the distribution of matter in the universe. In our segment on the Virgo supercluster, we counted the Virgo galaxy cluster and a few hundred others as our local supercluster. But using this new technique, we see that the Virgo supercluster is part of a much larger structure that is 100 times larger and more massive. The astronomers who made this discovery have named the new supercluster Laniakea, Hawaiian for immeasurable heaven. Here is an illustration of Laniakea along with Perseus Pisces, an adjacent supercluster. The boundary is where the supercluster objects are shearing apart, like the North American Great Divide separates water flowing to the Atlantic Ocean from water flowing to the Pacific Ocean. In this view, the red dot shows our Milky Way's location in Laniakea.